It is absolutely reasonable to have the government run your health care. That's how you get results. That's what the Cruz Republicans threatened to do. They, uh, they said uh, two or three weeks ago that they would, in effect, bring the House down unless uh, the, uh, we attempted to defund Obamacare and tied it to a uh, government shutdown. So I think it's time for tough action. Yeah, we're not going to be, I mean, we're not going to be disrespected. Um, and so that's where we're at today, where we have to get something uh, out of this. And I don't know what that even is. Now they're trying to figure out how to get out of it. Just yesterday, one House Republican said, I I'm quoting here, all right, because uh, I want to make sure people understand I didn't make this up. One House Republican said, we're not going to be disrespected. We have to get something out of this, and I don't know what that even is. <laughs> yeah. So uh, who, we're going to win this. Who's winning? Like who's losing <laughs> here? The Republicans are saying we're going to win this, and certainly doesn't look that way to most people observing. <laughs> wait, 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 we haven't heard from you. The Republicans are losing. <laughs> Why? Um, because the country's against them, you know. It's uh, they're, they're, there they go. are the, the country's against them, and and the all of the the the, the reason it's it's weird that that they don't seem to get the calendar, right? I mean, in, w when they fought this battle the last time in 2011, they were fighting against a president who was in the position of inferior of, of vulnerability. He right. had to run for re-election in 2012, right. so the threats that they were able to bring against him put him in a position where if he if he pushed them to the limit and they crashed the economy, it would hurt him in his re-election in 2012. The president's not running for re-election in 2016, and then there's an intervening election, which is a congressional election in 2014. Hey, the, you know, the public opinion polls are pretty clear okay, about who's show, winning show, the battle right now. Show that first. The thing of it is, is I, I need my paycheck. That's the bottom line. And I, I understand that maybe there are some other members who are you know, deferring their paychecks, and I think that's admirable. I'm not in that position. I've seen a list of dozens of senators and congressmen who've decided they're not going to take any pay during uh, during the uh, shutdown. Do you have any plans to do something like that? Uh, I don't. So you you will continue to to be paid, right? I, I, I'm I'm working. I'll continue to be paid. Do you think that it would make it would uh, uh, speak to uh, those employees that are trying to make their mortgages that hey we're on the same side or do you think do you think people are going to look at this and say that doesn't seem quite fair to us yeah I understand the point and uh, I've answered the question okay okay the problem here is not that Senator Mike Lee wanted to keep his paycheck whatever floats your boat sir uh, the problem here is that he had to pretend he did not say what he actually said and that kind of thing keeps happening because Republicans in Congress do not seem to be sure of why they are doing what they are doing anymore. So, uh, Congressman King, what do Republicans want to get out of this shutdown? I honestly don't know what they want. It started off by uh, saying they wanted to defund Obamacare. Now they realize that can't be done. And it's a, sort of a moving target. Do you have a second? I'm all wired up here. Um, I just did CNN. I just go over and over again. We're willing to compromise. We're willing to negotiate. I think... I don't think they poll tested. We won't negotiate. I think it's awful for them to say that over and over again. Yeah, I do too. And I, and I just came back from the two-hour meeting with him, and that was that was basically the same view privately as it was. Probably. I think if we keep saying we wanted to defund it, we fought for that, mm -hmm. but now we're willing to compromise on this. I think they can't. I mean, we're going to. We. I think. Well, I know we don't want to be here. But we're going to win this. I think. How do, you, how do you look at them and say how? How do you? Deny them access. I don't get that. Well, it should be difficult. It is difficult. I'm sorry, sir. Park Service should be ashamed of these things. I'm not ashamed. Well, you should be. I'm not ashamed of being a no-cost. Well, this cost anyone anything. This woman is doing her job just like me. I'm a 30-year federal veteran. I'm out of work. Well, the reason you are is Mr. Reed is. No, it's because the government won't do its job and pass a budget. I think the reality is as much as President Obama would like to arrest these vets, haul them off to jail, handcuff them to a cot, I mean, he, I think he'd be absolutely fine doing that. He realizes that politically there's no possible way he could do that. The, the American public simply would not stand for it. So they've had to find some way uh, to let this go on. But I still cannot get over, you know, the fact that he's shutting down privately owned national parks that don't take a dollar of taxpayer money. He's spending more money to shut things down than it would cost him to keep them open. So it's clearly vindictive, clearly petty. 
And there were more guards. He sent more guards to the mall to stop veterans than he sent to Benghazi to stop Muslims. So I, I think that uh, we ought to be more realistic about this. The big problem is that President Obama refuses to behave like an American president. He refuses to deal with the Congress as his equal, which it is in the Constitution. Remember, Article 1 of the Constitution is the legislative branch, the House and the Senate. Article 2 is the executive. And Article 3 are the judges. So the Founding Fathers deliberately put the legislature first, and this president puts himself above the Constitution, and that's very dangerous for our freedoms. Hero fiddled while Rome burned. Our president played golf over the weekend while the government shut down. Nero blamed the Christians, and Obama blames the Republicans. Mark Meadows is kind of the architect of the whole shutdown strategy. He's the guy who wrote the letter demanding it in the first place. But even he has no idea how to explain what it is they're doing. Is the CR fight really about the Affordable Care Act anymore? This fight now has become about veterans and about uh, National Guard folks that perhaps uh, reservists that are not getting paid. That's where the fight is today. Obamacare is mandatory spending. It's going on. So then why not vote on a full, just a full CR if you don't care about Obamacare anymore? Good question. Why not vote on on a full CR? Yeah, okay, full CR. Because, because if, you're, if, if Obamacare isn't the issue anymore, because it, t twofold. One is is that when you when you start to look, they say clean CR. That it translates into to truly a blank check. And, and so Obamacare is an issue for me and my constituents, but what happens is today is, is we've got to figure a way to open it back up. And, and with that, in opening it back up, when we start to look at these issues, it, it is critical that we make it, the decisions we, we make to be as least harmful as they possibly can be. So can you explain? I, I, I've got to check on the next vote. Would you vote now to pass a clean CR? Absolutely. I've, I've said that now for several days I would, which is why uh, the other night I voted no on the uh, uh, rule to send the bill over to the Senate, which just prolonged this, uh, uh, all this craziness. No, I would definitely vote for it. I would vote for it in a heartbeat. Yeah, Dee Dee Myers yesterday, she gave a fantastic yeah, litany about why did the Republicans do this? They lost one presidential race. They lost a pre another mm -hmm. presidential race. Yeah. They lost Senate races. Yeah. All the polls are against them. I mean, there you here know. is, <laughs> and by the way, a hard call. by the way, let's keep that up for a second. This is not, I, I've said this from the very beginning, as has the Wall Street Journal and the litany of conservatives I've, I've been talking about that agree with me. We've been saying this for several weeks. This isn't about ideology. None of us. None of us conservatives like Obamacare. Okay, we're with you. Mm -hmm. We're with you. I also, I don't, you know, like cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? But me going up and banging my head against the wall is not going to end mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's irrational.